question come in. Can someone with PV have hematocrit and hemoglobin levels that will fluctuate? Mm, that's a good question. Um, so yeah, definitely if you have um, PV, your hematocrit and hemoglobin can fluctuate. Mm -hmm. uh, let me explain t um, to you what those values are. So a hematocrit is actually a percentage of volume that your red cells occupy. So for example, if you actually take um, one, one cc out of your body and you let the red cells settle, the, the space that your red blood cells actually occupy in that given volume of fluid, that's mm -hmm. your hematocrit. Um, your hemoglobin is actually a concentration of that as well too. And so they, they can fluctuate quite a bit even on a day-to-day -day basis uh, because they actually are dependent upon your hydration status. And so for example, if you wake up in the morning, you drink a couple of, cup of coffee, then you have to go to the bathroom and you know, pee, um, oftentimes that can actually concentrate your hematocrit until mm -hmm. you actually hydrate. Um, so that's where you see the, the fluctuations. I will tell you that when you actually get your CBC drawn, that you actually go to um, your, the same um, clinic same. Uh, at the same time, as, as much as possible, yeah. uh, at, the, at the same time in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, so your hydration status at that time is hopefully uh, as constant as possible, because that can actually be a variable in terms of how your um, hematocrit and hemoglobin are. Um, so that's a great question. That's actually great advice mm -hmm. too, no. yeah. yeah. Um, and again, you know, when they're getting their counts monitored, mm -hmm. going back to tracking it and using the tracker tool or journal, Absolutely. like Francis had mentioned earlier, Absolutely. will be beneficial. Yep.